I've been looking to foster a dog and the Sacramento SPCA just had a dog get dropped off. She's 14 years old and she was just surrendered by her owners. I fell in love with her as soon as I saw her. No, I'm not gonna keep this dog, so I'd love your support. So we're gonna head there now, but just fostering her. I would really love your help in helping me finding her a forever home. Let's do it. 12 minutes away, we pick up this baby. She's an oldie. An oldie, but a goodie. <laughs> I'm excited. Well, hey everyone, we are pulling in to the Sacramento SPCA to foster another dog. I'm super excited, guys. I'm super excited. I'm excited to find this beautiful dog a home. <laughs> Do it. Hi. I just want to say, Marnie, I met Marnie at Hi. one of my events about a year, it was like 13, 14 months ago. And uh, Marnie helped me find Tony, Queen, and Penny, and we stayed in touch. And uh, yeah, it's been awesome. Here we are. And he's going to help us out even more. <laughs> Yay. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh my god, Casey! Oh my goodness! Hi, lovey. Can say hi? we take her out? Yes. So let me go get her. Here we go. Come on, Casey. So beautiful. Is this the same pen that I played with Tony? Yeah. Stop it. Yeah, this is I where I played with Tony for the first yeah. time. Okay. She's on a very pretty color. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Everything is okay now. It's okay. Everything is okay now. Yeah. Marnie, what's um, Hi. what's your story? What, how did she wind up here? Yeah, so actually, um, she ended up. She's kind of a poster child for. We get a lot of older dogs now in our shelter. Yeah, and, Queen, Queen was an older. Pup. And Queenie was an older yeah. girl too. Yeah, and we actually have a more difficult time, especially when they're the bigger dogs. So she's a big dog breed. She's 14 years old. And she was surrendered by, unfortunately, something that we get a lot. People move. Yeah. Um, and then they either can't take the dogs with them, they can't afford the pet deposit. So they had her entire 14 years. No way. Yeah. So it's, we're just really, really hoping that she can spend whatever amount of time that she has with a really loving family that will appreciate the wonderful dog that she is. Dogs just want to oh, be with you. Yeah. They just want to live with you. They do. Yes. Happy puppy. Okay. Hi. What do you think, girlfriend? I think she's gonna. Casey. I think she's gonna be happy. Gonna feed her the best foods. Yay. All the massages and belly rubbies. <laughs> You're gonna love that. You're gonna love that. <laughs> Just in case she can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, who is that? Pearly. So Pearly is wearing a cone because she actually just got a dental. She does much better with women, not so much with men. She spent, she spent most of her time in a crate? She's in a crate. Yeah, what's your story? So she was surrendered to us by her previous owners. So based on her history that they provided, it was only allowed in two places, either in her crate or on a dog pillow. What? I want both. Both. No, it did not. Problem is we can't foster two dogs. There's a rule. You can only foster one dog. And I already gave Casey my word. <laughs> but we will see. From the back of the You remember Mr. Lee? Hey, that's a good girl. Yeah. We're gonna be fostering Casey. We're gonna find her a home. She's 14 years old. Let's find her a home. Why would you be 
camera right in the air. Little, uh, little dilemma. Small dilemma. Five pound dilemma. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Seven we, year old dilemma. We have fallen in love with a dog. Shocker. So I think we're gonna see if we can convince them to let us foster both Casey and Pearly. So <laughs> since you guys are in a good mood, um, <laughs> if it's okay with you, uh, we decided that I will foster Casey under my name and help Casey find a home and Sydney will foster Pearly under her name. Oh, what a great idea. Is that cool? Yes, yeah, thank right. you. Yes, thank you. Yes. <laughs> I am happy. <laughs> I am so happy. It's Pearly. So when I got her out of the kennel, she did a play bow and she rolled over on her back and gave me her belly. Oh, oh my so this is like huge. So, so you think she's day. in a good mood? This is huge. You're she having is a good like day so right now. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, you're lovely. Let's go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Oh my gosh. She's a little shaky. You ready? We needed those signs. Set a baby on board, fosters on board. Oh my god, I was like that. I've never seen a happier dog. How could you leave this dog in a crate for no. the majority of its life? You mentioned this at the shelter, and it's a really good point. The owners of Pearly told the staff at the SPCA that they kept her inside of a crate, I think they said 22 hours a day. And then you said that's what they were willing to tell you. It's crazy how you could keep this dog in, like all caged up all day. Why get a dog? What's the point of getting a dog in the first place? Seriously, like I don't understand. All right, so we're almost home, like literally 30 seconds away from the house, and uh, we smell like the dogs, so we're gonna go inside the house. Our dogs are probably gonna be full of energy. Let them smell us, get used to all the smells, take them out so that they could release some of that energy, and then we'll introduce them to the dogs, and we'll go from there. Here we are pulling into the house now. about to meet. My butter's standing through there. In the house for the first time. You know I can't resist chihuahuas. <laughs> Where are these? You like your home? Yeah, yeah. Be nice. Good morning, Cece. But she can see relatively well, I think, right? And you have kept in a crate all day, been in the shelter over a month, doesn't like men? You don't like men? She has a crush on butters for sure. She hasn't Ooh. stopped following him. <laughs> oh my god, I just got out of the pit. Wink, wings. No, seriously. Hey guys, Lee here. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Watch the next one right here.